helping a very good cause. The Cincinnati Cyclones are asking fans to help the Cincinnati Police Department. Yeah, and Sergeant Tim Fritz from the Cincinnati Police Department and Cyclones player Jack Downing are here to tell us how important the teddy bear toss is to them. And I know you guys have done this for several years now. Yes. But talk about why you do this in the first place and, and why it's important. Well, this will be the fifth year that the Cincinnati Police Department has partnered with the Cyclones. And it's a great way for the Cyclones and the Cincinnati Police Department to be able to give back a little bit to the community. Uh, when the Cyclones score, score the f first goal of the game, uh, the fans will tell us their new or gently loved teddy bears onto the ice. Whip them out there. And then the team will collect them up for us, and then we will give those uh, teddy bears to There they go. You can children. see the video. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We'll give them to children, uh, and it's a great way for us to break the ice with them and, and create friendships and, uh, you know, get a relationship with the younger people of the community. Yeah, that's awesome. Jack, what is it like for a player, and you're out there, and you, you, see, <laughs> these, you see these teddy bears just come raining down yeah. out on the ice, man? That's got to uh, be pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, there's always a little added excitement when we have games like this, so, you know, the players know they always want to be the one to score that to goal. Score the goal. That's what yeah. I was going to ask. Yeah. I've been fortunate to be on the ice one time when, when it's happened, and it wasn't me that scored, but it's still, I mean, it's pretty exciting, so That's everyone's awesome. getting fired up. Yeah. Now, yeah. how many teddy bears do you expect out there on Friday night? I mean, is it just a couple dozen, or is that video like there was hundreds? Last year, we received a little over 3,000 teddy bears. Oh. Great. That's great. So that gives us quite an opportunity to be able to reach out to quite a few kids here in the city. Yeah, and, and, and Jack, really, uh, Cyclones reach out to the community in a lot of different mm -hmm. ways. Is that important to you? I mean, you know, you're out there to play hockey and whatnot, but I, that's got to be, I, I would imagine, pretty important to the players. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I got here at the end of last year, um, and it seems ever since I've gotten here, the Cincinnati Cyclones and, you know, the community, it's been hand in hand. I mean, uh, a lot of the stuff that the team does, um, whether, you know, we go to the children's hospital or uh, things like this, you know, uh, you know, teaming up with the uh, Cincinnati Police Department, um, you know, it's all for a good cause and it's fun. Now, can you talk a little bit about more what you do with those? I know you sure. give them to kids, but in what situations are you giving these out? Well, with it being a holiday <clears throat> time of the year, it gives us the opportunity to reach out to some kids who might not be um, very fortunate around the holidays and might not be getting a lot of uh, presents for Christmas. It also gives us the opportunity to reach out to kids who have been in traumatic experiences, whether it's something as simple as an auto accident, yeah. or it could be something where they might have, you know, an incident that was involved them personally of a little bit more uh, private nature, yeah. but uh, yeah. it gives us the opportunity to, to connect with them and, and make them feel like they can trust an adult. What a neat idea. Well, yeah, so it's got to be, you know, in a lot of cases, and I'm sure it's, it's happened to you when you've, been in, when you've been out on the streets, that, you know, a kid has a situation where all of a sudden mom and dad can't be there with right. them in a moment where exactly. they, they need a mom or dad there and to have, like you say, another adult that they can reach out to. And it's got to be a very important thing. It is. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention that Friday night, so you bring your teddy bears. It's going to be fun for the kids to, to chuck the teddy bears onto the ice yeah. and do something that seems like they shouldn't be doing. They shouldn't <laughs> normally be throwing things down the ice, but it's also throwback night, right? So yes. what does that mean? Um, well, this will be my first of as well, but uh, I think it's just kind of a throwback more so to uh, some of the pricing. So, yeah. you know, the, I don't know if maybe dollar beer night. I mean, what yeah. have you heard? I mean, <laughs> $10 tickets, right? $10 tickets. It'll be dollar beer, dollar soda, dollar hot dogs, dollar pizza. I mean, does it get any better So, than good cause, good price. You get to throw stuff. You're throwing stuff on the ice. <laughs> Everybody wins in this thing, is what we're saying. Uh, it, it really is a, a wonderful evening. Yeah. It helps a lot of kids. So, guys, thanks so much for what you do. And thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks a lot. All right, take care, guys. It's